Revelio. That pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Revelio. Here, Guardian Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. I 
believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Confringo! Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. here but no ledge near it. Accio! Guardian Leviosa! Rebellio! Revelio. Defendo. Confringo. Revelio. Revelio.
here. Revelio.
Revelio. Send it. Send us. Can bring us.
send you.
What a relief. Revelio. Say, I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in? Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Revelio. Revelio. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. 
I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Rebellion. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. Does it get any more cozy? The exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What are you up to now? <laughs> Revelio.
Revelio. This could prove dangerous. <laughs> Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. Assignment's all finished. Rebellion. Spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. I take it you're ready. I to... completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. 
Let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombada. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? I was wondering what inspired your interest in magical beasts. Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? I haven't decided quite yet, but I do find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts in class. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject, as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling Ockamy eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the Ockamy, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Ockamy could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. Seems quite a challenge finding an Ockamy in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow. And there, inside, was a nest with seven silver Ockamy eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even wand cores. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head. Breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learned to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. Nice to see you, my young friend. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic.
It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Revelio.